Ishmore Park. Alright, it's me, Ishmael Jimenez again with Ishmore Park. Here is the GMC Sierra. So today I'm going to replace the red red hour stroke. Check this old one out and put a new one in. So first thing I had to do, I'm going to uh, lubricate all this um, bolt over here. Second, I'm going under the car and uh, train the uh, coolant hose, I mean uh, the old coolant out. And the coolant va valve was over here on the uh, left side of the truck. It's right here, down here, way down there. Can you see it? It's dark. So before everything, you must get a uh, safety glasses for you to be safe. This is the 1995. So first thing you have to do, do lubricate all this uh, bolt over here. One, just like that, I lubricated already. And now on here, just it's not there anymore. And two more on this side. And hopefully you can see it here on the bottom of here as well. There's one over there and one over here. Right there. It's already lubricated. It to separate the uh, fan cover. Hopefully, I don't have to take the whole thing off. So, for me to get to the uh, radiator, um, that's the whole process. So, in order to change the radiator, you have to do that and then um, train the old coolant out. It's way down there. Uh, it's below that. Uh, that pipe's going that way. It's below right there. You have to train it from there before you. Um, take the hoses out that way you don't have to make a lot of mess place a bucket like that all right just like that let the cooling out open this and it's a millimeter to remove the battery cable out just in case just like that better to be safe than sorry now I feel comfortable and take your 10 milli and I'm squeeze two over here and then the other side just like that And get a flathead screwdriver or a uh, 10 9 millimeter socket. He will do this job over here to remove the holes up out of the way, just like that. Now get you a 10 millimeter with your extension to get the other two on both sides over here, right there. This and the other one, right here. You can see it right there. All right, after you listen that, take up my hand, just like that. Oop, like that. The other one. There you go. Okay, now this two it out. So do the same thing on the other side. It's the same process. Okay, after all that, move this cable away. And then pull this tab off like this. And then, you can see everything. It's the red right here. And there's the fan. There's everything else here. And you add this uh, transmission fluid pipe over here. You're gonna need the, uh, the 1316. It's perfect. It's not loose or anything. Now place another one here just in case this transmission fluid can come out. And after you move this and you do the other one in the bottom, that way it makes it easy for you. In my case, I had to uh, remove this one out so I can make more room, so I can make more space down there for me to get to it. It's kind of hard, so out. 
Okay, on the passenger side, I'm gonna use the uh, half inch to move this one. It fits perfect. No, I'm not using anything that doesn't fit perfect. It's gonna mess it up as much as mine right now. It's bad. Somebody used the wrong stuff on it and it messed it up. All right, this one out. It's like that, and do the same process on the uh, bottom one right here except it's hard to reach down there you may have to move some other part to get to it I mean to make more space well in my case I didn't have to move any extra part anything else I just left it like that to come out and now remove the, the hose clamp and the bottom one right here you have to have a uh, nine millimeter socket with a l extension or a long thread that's good driver it's hard to see it's way, way down here so it's up right now so with the pushes and bring back and try to pull on the hose just like this all right it's out so now you can pull the very very out Pull it out. Put the whole thing out, just like that. Well, guys, it's out. So uh, that's all it takes to take the whole thing out and put the new one in the opposite way, like you'd took this one off, and it shouldn't be so hard for you. You don't have to take the bottom one out with the bottom cover, leave it like that. And here's the fan, and now it's the new one. It's where you back, go back in, make sure all these uh, shoes, when I mean, there's a bed down there, it stay in place. It should be four beds one on this side, and one on that side, and two on the top as well, one on each corner. So um, it's all it takes and now you have to put it back in together and on the opposite way, same way like you did, so it shouldn't be hard for you. Hey guys, so far uh, the new one is in, uh, I say it's new one but it actually it's from the junkyard. Uh, it seems like it's harder to adjust this one back in, in the place because if they don't go in straight in, they will not go in so uh, you have to make sure I kind of stretch them up and adjust them in place for you to put them back in on the um, passenger side I could not put my original back in because on the new one put it that way they got this adapter in there so um, if it's too big over here it just you know I couldn't see it down there because wasn't going in so um, I realized I had to take this one off and then put my origin on it this is my old one and my new one was like this had this adapter on there like that so I didn't took this one off before I put it in the on there so when I try to put that two back in here it will not go in because it's bigger so at the end I had to undo all this top one and the bottom one so now I had to uh, connect the um, water hose back on here the bottom one is over the end and then I'm going to put the, this piece back and I'm going to put the cover on there this is the cover one over here so it's not uh, way to go it's better to use the uh, 8 millimeter to um, move the uh, what they got the clamp and to pull it on because with a uh, flat screwdriver it's hard but with this one it's easy so with 8 and uh, extension you got it going okay now uh, so I got everything back together except little 
wire over here that I put back in here with a clip and then I'm going to start the engine and I'm going to put the uh, coolant back in the radiator and that's it and thank you for watching this video if you like this video don't forget to subscribe hit likes or share with your friends if you like to well once again I appreciate you watching this video and hope to see you on the next video until then bye for now